Hey, good morning, everybody, and happy Mother's Day to all those good mothers out there. Not you bad mommies. You bad mommies, shame on you. Um, funny story, when Elias and I uh, got together, I wanted to be a foster mother, but he didn't want anything to do with that. But um, I love kids so much, and I felt like I've always had so much love to give. I just wanted more kids. I just wanted to be like the Brady Bunch. I just want, you know, an army of children. So this is what happened. Uh, let me show you. Let's focus on the pretty, almost now dead tulips my daughter gave me Wednesday. Um, favorite flower right there. See, look at the poor little guys. They're t but look at this. I'm, you can't see it now, but you're sh last night y'all should have seen this thing. It was huge open. I told Katie it reminded me of that movie, uh, Little Pet Shop of Horrors, that plant that eats because it was like I was scared to put my hand next to it um okay so y'all know that I went of course to Salvation Army and I did find a few things I came home did the haul showed y'all everything uh took pictures of everything I go to load it on YouTube and it wouldn't take a big circle with an exclamation point through it error failed whatever okay weird so i did it again i did it eight to ten times i made that video i wouldn't do it i'm like screw it i'm just gonna go on ebay load my pictures list my shit i go on there i won't load my pictures what so i'm just sitting here and i'm like what is different with my phone what is different with my phone what have you done virginia it was the sd card y'all i took the sd card out and i guess now we'll see if the video work it, it did the pictures are fine. I already listed everything. Um, I'm Texas Girls 713 on eBay. Not telling you that to uh, sell you anything. But if you save me as one of your favorite sellers, then y'all can always see what I got because I post it generally within 24, 36 hours after I get it. I, I get it out there on eBay as fast as I can. So um, I had also shown y'all. We did the uh, DIY Mother's Day cards, and they, I mean, I'm not bragging, but they came out really good. Um, there was things I wanted to do, but couldn't find my materials. You know how it is. You, you see something a million times, and you don't need it, so you put it somewhere, and then when you go to need it, yeah, I can't find it, because I was going to use my little die, hand little die cast machine and cut out words like happy mother's day and i was gonna do some hearts and stuff like that um but that didn't work so i found wooden hearts and i used those i also um i don't know if i've talked to y'all about this i think i have about paper quilling um it's where you take paper and, and you it's like japanese origami but you use a tool uh, i'll show it to you one time uh more in person you know in depth and i'll show you how to do it but um you get a i had a pattern on my cricket by a lady of the name of jennifer maker if you get a cricket and for any reason you are lost and confused because you will be watch jennifer maker whatever your tutorial is she does it on everything and on every machine the maker the air explore 2 which is the one i've got and the joy now I'm, i love my cricket please don't get me wrong i love her it's this cord uh right here that goes to yeah excuse the mess i was busy yesterday uh it goes to you know your um computer well i've always had a problem with it and my friend of mine paul said it was the ports on my laptop were damaged um so we had to kind of rig it to get it to work and but what's funny is when i hook up my there's my croissants uh when i hook up my printer i have no problems with it so you know you put two and two together you get four unless you're me most of the time you get three and uh i figured out it's probably this well, I ordered it, and it's not supposed to come till tomorrow. It's a lot of good that friggin' did me right. So, you know, I know y'all are probably tired of hearing this word, improvisation. But seriously, it's what life is about. You know, if something doesn't work, find something that will. That's that's just as simple as it is. Um, so, real quick, I will show you. I've already boxed most things up because I like my stuff to be ready to ship. Um, I feel like when someone orders something, they want it ASAP. So, down there... I don't know if y'all can see. It's a little, this, I, this is scrap, but I'm keeping it. I have a little 
place for that. Because you never know. But, like, that box. This box. Those are shoes. Uh, there's some other stuff over there. Uh, oh, I found... It's called Dublin. It's a two-piece crystal chip and dip set. It was like $5.99 or something. I've got the receipt, but I can't read it. It's right here. I can't, I keep trying to keep my receipts close. It may have even been $9.99. I don't know. But um, when I looked at it, there's my receipt if you want to see it. I'm, I'm not proud. I don't even think they put on there what it is. No. Well, you, you see the shoes. So, oh, she sold me the shoes for six ninety nine. Uh, a couple of those were nine ninety nine. But look how cheap I got stuff. So look, y'all, I didn't pay over four ninety nine for anything, and I know what was four ninety nine. It was that Dublin crystal I just told you about. But let me tell you real quick: if you look that up online, go to eBay. Dublin two piece crystal chip and dip set just sold. Uh, one exactly like mine for over a hundred dollars. This one is new in the box, y'all. Never freaking even the tape has not even been removed from the inner box, and we're leaving it like that. I listed mine for eighty. Of course, I'll go down. I only paid five bucks for it. Now, um, oh, I, want, I just keep rambling, don't I? I want to show you what else I did uh, with quilling and with my Cricut. So I made. What I was smart when it ha uh, before anything happened, I, I like to have stuff on on hand. So I made three different sizes of the flowers. There's ten different patterns. Um, so I did those to have those in stock. Thank God I did. Now this I'm gonna send some of these to my sister. This is cool. Jennifer Maker uh, did these. They are butterflies. You see those? Aren't they cute? And I did do them in all kinds of different colors. Uh, right there. See, I'm going to send some to my sister. Um, I also did some leaves. Now, not the big ones, but there are some smaller ones in there. Uh, like right here. And the cool thing, and you're like, why are you going on and about leaves and butterflies? Because, now let me show you, if I can show you this over here. I started making Elise's mother uh, something for Mother's Day a few months ago. I was trying to do her a homemade sh shadow box. Well, Virginia isn't that good and uh so what you do is you can like cut out a heart well I was an idiot and I did it in white and I should have done it in a different color because my background was white and it's really hard to see I don't know if you can see the outline of the heart see I put mom on there but you see that leaf so you take it and you pinch the sides of the leaves together and it gives it like a 3d effect same thing with the butterflies so this is like an ombre thing it's a heart those are my flowers. But um, it's it's a heart. And you do, you know, like the butterflies are coming off the heart. And they're flying away. Um, I like that aspect of it. This was the first time I did it. So there's always room for improvement. I'm just going to pluck those suckers off. And I'm going to reuse them. But see, you pinch their um, wings together. And it makes them look like they're flying. Isn't that neat? I thought that was just the coolest thing I'd ever freaking seen. So, anyway, I made extras. But that's what I used on the Mother's Day cards. I used some of my flowers, the leaves, uh, the butterflies. And I used a wooden heart. And I used uh, also some really pretty cardstock I had. And uh, I uh, Mod Podge that onto the card. I wish I could show you. But that's Elisa's mother's basket. My mom came yesterday and took hers. She was very pleased with it. And that makes me very happy so um because that's why you do it right so this is elisa's mother's day gift from me note the leopard print she loves her leopard print that's fine with me i'm not into it but it's fine with me so um that's her basket her little basket her card is right here i wish i could open it and show it to you because i was uh pretty damn impressed with myself uh, but that's it that's the mother's day right there uh, I did, I showed y'all got the coasters, so maybe we'll do something with that. Uh, but these were the baskets that came in, uh, yes, there's stuff already in it, but, um, it came with four. There's a really small one right there. Now, you're like, what is that? Okay, this, 
It's stuff I'm sending to my sister. She likes water sports, like I said, and I want her to videotape her kayaking adventure. I didn't even know my freaking sister kayaked, okay? I never knew. But that is fascinating to me. But, um, you know, these, you know, you put your cell phone in here, it's waterproof. And then, you know, you can put your stuff in here too, it's waterproof. Um, we took those to Corpus. They do work, but I didn't close mine all the way. And I ruined my phone. Just a little bit of water got in, but it was enough to ruin it. You're probably like, what the hell is that? Well, that's Katie's seat cushion to her desk. She's got cool shit. I just have old lady stuff. Uh, yeah, here's the mess. So, see, these are some of the things that I already boxed up. Uh, when my mom came here today, she brought me an aroma rice cooker. It's a 12 cup. It's also a steamer. Sells new. Uh, no, it sells used for 31. I put mine at 30. Uh, so, like I said, I went ahead and wrapped it up because I like to know also how much everything's going to weigh with the packing and the box and all that. So, and then I just put um, the sticky notes on it for myself. Excuse me for a moment. <coughs> Virginia, why is that piece of wood here? <clears throat> well, because last winter, my husband was going to make me a shelf. Uh, that lays flat up against the wall and then you can pull it down like that. He was going to put, we were going to take the cork board down and he was going to put it over there. Okay, so that's not done yet. I am waiting on Metro Lift to come pick me up today. Like I said, is Mother's Day. I am going to go to HEB and do just, a, a, you know, a little shopping. I have to take my Ikea bag. Elise is on vacation. Um, trying not to ask him to do anything. He needs a couple days rest. He worked almost every day. Almost every day for three weeks. And he even went in an hour early. Uh, they always jack him around uh, uh, paycheck-wise when he goes on vacation. You know, when he goes back, it's like they never have a check. So this is something else I found for $4.99. It smells like stale water. I'm going to have to wash it with vinegar and stuff. Vinegar and Dawn. Vinegar and Dawn hot water is now your best friend. Uh, I was showing y'all that there was this horrific, big, I almost cussed, big label on this thing. You can still kind of see some of the, I'm still trying to get it off, y'all, Jesus. But you can see it was friggin' huge. It, I mean, there's still little remnants. I have to, you can see them. Um, but it's like they shipped it to this person. They just slapped a label on it and off it went. So I asked, I was outside taking pictures of the shoes and everything. And I asked Katie, I said, you know, this is how you need to get off a label that's hard to get off. And I told her about the, uh, hairdryer. Well, I heard the hairdryer was going off for really, I'm like, man, it's taking her a long time. Let me see what's going on. So I came back inside. Well, you have to put your blow dryer on the hottest, highest setting. And you start working at like a corner. And when you get the corner up, kind of work it a little bit. But don't force peeling off that label. Keep your blow dryer on and just slowly peel, slowly peel. Well, when I came in, she had started peeling it off. And there it was, oh my God, it was a nightmare. I love her. Think, I thank her for helping me. So I had no idea how to get it off. I went on YouTube and no, I went on Google and uh, it said to get a really hard label off without damaging your box is you use vinegar, hot water, and Dawn dishwashing liquid. Well, I had all those. Uh, they didn't tell me how much to use, so I just kind of guesstimated. And what I did is I, I put it in a cup and I just stirred it with my paintbrush and I just kept brushing, brushing over it, brushing over it brushing over it. It took me a good 15-20 minutes, but I got it off mostly. Like I said, there are some remnants. But this is called um, a pool sentry. It's a water level control for your pool. I don't know if y'all see that. Okay. Now, it was $4.99 and it sells, you know, depending on, the. it's like between $35 and up. Um, I'm not going to charge that much. Like I said, I only paid $4.99. I'm not here to uh, jack people. I'm not doing that. But that's, I mean, look. it. It. They put it back into the plastic and everything. But the problem is, one of these pieces smells like moldy water. They didn't let it dry out. I guess they didn't care. So I am going to go in today uh, and put vinegar, you know, the vinegar Dawn solution, uh, hot water, 
let it soak, uh, shake it up real good, and uh, just let it soak. And then I'm going to drain it, use the hose, clean it out, let it dry outside. And hopefully it won't smell, because I'm not going to smell it. Uh, smell it. I'm not going to smell it like that. I'm not going to sell it like that. So, I told y'all I'm waiting on my door lift, right? To get, oh, I need to empty my IKEA bag. Oh, I already did. Look at me, y'all. So, under here, you know, has my boxes and my supplies. And this is uh, extra paper and envelopes. Because something about when I ship, I never seem to have the size box or envelope I need. So, I did sell something yesterday. And, of course, I need a small uh, flat rate box. And, well, I don't have one. <laughs> now do I. So, I have to get that. And the thing about... Oh, watch out, baby. Go on. Go on, Mommy. Uh, the thing about eBay is the minute you make a label, they tell those people it's shipped. Well, I was yesterday. So, I told Katie that I really need a, a small flat rate box. And I'm hoping that she will take me after work. But y'all missed it. Uh, right before I started filming, my daughter went here for Mother's Day. She got me a sausage cheese McMuffin, which is in my bag. It's in my bag. I'm taking it with me to eat. Don't go shopping hungry. But I love McDonald's coffee. Isn't that sweet for Mother's Day? She she brought this to me. But what was funny is <laughs> she put it on the table by the bed and her hands were full. And I already had a cup of coffee. And bless her heart, she knocked it over and got coffee all over my sheets. I just changed my sheets and that's such a hard job for me. But anyway, whatever. Everything one-handed is hard, y'all. Well, unless you're a guy and you're... Never mind, that was bad. Somebody's mind went straight into the gutter and she hasn't even had breakfast yet. Okay, let's get over that. Let's get over that. So we have to go outside to wait for um, Metro. They give you... Oh, I got a mask. Okay, see, I keep masks by the front door. So, uh... Oh, let me show you my dining room that my husband has turned into another storage area. Uh, one day, uh, when my brother lived here... And I had to come out of the hospital. My dining room, y'all, was full of crap everywhere. It took me and my brother two days to organize this B-I-T-C-H. And it takes my husband one minute to trash it. He uses my dining room table for every... It's a, it's a, just at the row wall. He's got a bucket down there full of tools. He's got stuff over here on my table. He's got stuff over there on the chair. Uh, concrete over there on my floor hard for me to manip uh, manipulate that shit and get over there to the deep freezer. Really hard to get over to the refrigerator freezer. <sighs> and that's his uh, nice, oh, dog hair. Uh, that ha That's a daily occurrence. But he uses those towels to wash his cars. You know, his babies, which I'm about to show you. So let's go outside so we can wait for Metro. Oh, my baby didn't lock the door. Katie, a couple weeks ago, ooh, looks like it wants to rain. Bought these chairs and table. Uh, hold on, let me lock the door. She bought these, uh, this table and these chairs, and her and her dad put them together. Okay, let me see those people across the street. They're the ones that hit my husband's car. Well, their daughter. I think I told y'all the story. They hit my husband's. Well, the little girl was riding a Walmart motorized SUV looking thing, ATV, whatever. She was um, outside with her little brother unattended, going down this road, going down this road, unattended. She lost control right near our mailbox, went into our driveway, hit the back of my husband's car, scratched the paint. I did a police report, um, and uh, they, well, they refused to give their information. And I'm not being mean, but I'm assuming it's probably because they're illegal. No, I don't have a problem with that. Uh, but I have a problem with you destroying my property and not forthcoming with your information. We also have on videotape that they uh, also knocked over our mailbox. My husband didn't say anything to them about that. But I got your game, and I got you on film. But I can't... Uh, we don't know who owns the house. We did... It's just crazy. So, these are my husband's sports cars. That's his Infinity. Now, that's the one they hit. Uh, he just got that a couple months ago. It's a 2020. He got a really, I'm not kidding, he got a really good price on that car. But I'm not allowed in it. Uh, I'm allowed in it. I'm just not allowed to wheel up to it because he's afraid I'm going to 
scratch his paint. Little did he know he was going to have to worry about the little girl over there. So, uh, that's his cars, his Nissan 370. I like that car. What sucks is not being able to drive because I'd be on those. Well, okay, not the black one because I can't drive a stick. But I'd be all over that Infinity. His birthday was yesterday. We got him. He wanted serious exit. I'm watching them. I'm filming them because I trust them about as far as I can damn well throw them. Mm -hmm, I got you on tape. B-I-T-C-H. So, anyway, yeah, I'm mad. I don't like people uh, wrecking my property and not being responsible for it. I'm not going to show their company because they don't deserve any. Uh, yeah, you know what I'm saying. So, uh... Yeah, those are them. I wish, y'all, more than anything, I miss driving. I was always the girl that loved to drive. I would just drive down to Corpus for the weekend and come back. Just, where do you want me to take you? The lovely brown spot in my grass is because my husband usually parks the Nissan there, but he mowed the lawn, praise the Lord, yesterday. So, looking pretty good. And the dog, she's over there. <sighs> Looks like it's going to rain. So, happy Mother's Day to everyone. I, oh, let me tell you what else I got. Excuse me. So I got three pairs of shoes. I got a pair of muds, a pair of airwalks, and a pair of Kenneth Cole reaction flats. I got this really cute teapot. I don't know if y'all saw it on the video, but it's got kitty cats on it. Real cute. Um, I paid $4.99 for it. And I was going to post it for $25.30. I couldn't find another one like it. I had a barcode, maker, mark, everything, and I couldn't find it anywhere. So I just went on eBay and was looking at other teapots that were slightly similar, but mine were nicer. And, uh, oh, I don't know where she's going. She goes across the street to the neighbors, and I know one or two, so I need to watch her. Um, Hannah. <whistles> Come on inside, Mommy. Come on. Come on inside. Come on, let's go inside. Well, you're going inside. I'm leaving. There you go. Okay, this is fun watching Virginia try to shut the door. So, I have to pull it like this. Oh, don't get your fingers stuck. And then I come down here, and I just get it as close as I can. And then I close it. And Katie bought this. It says, well, hello there. And it's really cute, but it, it kind of makes it difficult for me to get up the thing a little bit, but I don't want to hurt her feelings, so I don't say anything, because, uh, you know, I'll survive. It makes her happy, and it's not really a big deal. So, tell me what y'all think about my orange door. I painted that before I got sick and lost my leg. Paul helped me, but yeah, I painted it, and uh, Elias didn't like it, but orange is one of my favorite colors. See, Katie found that material that pretty much matches, and if you look at the rug, it's more of an orange tint than it is a brown. But I love that door. I, I'm sorry, I love it. Um, he 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 only made like a couple comments. I think he felt guilty because he didn't want to help me paint it, and then I overexerted myself, and I was gone, you know, in the hospital for three months. So he doesn't say anything. The door, we don't talk about the door. I love it though, because so, I tell Metro Lift, yeah, it's the house with the orange door. But now I guess I can say, oh, it's the house with the red Infinity Q60. They all know that. My grandfather, I'm not my grandfather, I am so sorry, Gonzalo. My lovely, wonderful, whom I love, father-in-law, built this plant stand over here. Um, that's not where we're keeping it, but we need to get some, uh, we want to get some cacti, succulents and stuff and put them in the little, he brought the pots too. And we're going to kind of put it, let me show you where we're going to put it. Let me grab my uh, drink because I gotta be heading out that way anyway. Uh, I wanna put a plant in there too. I had some foxtail, but it died when uh, it snowed. So I wanna get a plant for that, but uh, we're gonna put this, we're thinking about putting the planter. That's Katie's window over there. I probably shouldn't say that, but we're probably gonna put it underneath that window. Um, my main concern is too much rain with the succulents, but I think we should be okay. Still no metro. Okay. We've got a green Dodge Durango over there. That doesn't work. So, Elias requested Sirius XM Radio for his birthday, like the day before. He's like, oh, can I? I, th I know what I want. Okay. 
Well, I had already gone and gotten him a fixed, F-I-X-D. That's that little thing that you plug into your car and it tells you what's wrong with your vehicle. Um, it was only $20. It was like half off. Well, here's the kicker. You have to have a monthly membership <laughs> for it to do everything you want it to do. Well, isn't that special? So it, um, it came last night. Well, it came late in the day and I didn't give it to Elias because I'm not really sure if it's going to be something he's going to want when he finds out I'm going to have to pay a small fee monthly. Um, but I really, we don't know. Thank you, neighbor. Thank you, neighbor. We don't really know what's wrong with it. Um, we've had his dad's, uh, my father-in-law is a mechanic and we've, uh, he doesn't live in Houston, but we had another mechanic hook it up and everybody is saying it's the same thing. It's just supposed to be like some kind of oxygen sensor because what happens is you can drive the vehicle. You get maybe five to seven miles and then boom, it just acts like it overheats and shuts down. So that's not the problem. Paul, my friend, who is, uh, you know, he can, Paul's really crafty. He can do everything, uh, said 